So several of you were asking me if I was going to ever review any of the Givenchy La Collection Particuliere fragrances. And I wasn't planning on doing that because I can't find them here anywhere. But my contact, sales associate contact over at Saks Fifth Avenue in New York City, Sal, asked me if I wanted to get the samples. So he sent me samples and I was checking out some of them uh, and I decided to uh, go ahead and think about buying them. But then I saw that there was an EGC gift card uh, promotion over at Saks. So what did I do? I went and uh, ahead and bought some of these fragrances. In this video, I'm discussing three of the newest releases known as Hotel Particulier. This is Givenchy's uh, kind of like private collection. This is actually their second private collection. They had one called Le Atelier de Givenchy that was launched in 2014. And I think it folded around 2019 or maybe even 2018. Now they have a new one called La Collection Particulière. And in this video, I'm talking about Equivacu, Foudroyant, Noctambul, and one of the previous launches from 2020 called Accord Particulière. So if you want to find out about these fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, today I'm talking about three new fragrances from Givenchy called Hotel Particulier. So several of you asked me about this particular series and you guys said that these are really, really great. So it got me excited and I'm always interested in the luxury collections of the designers. And I think that uh, LVMH's brands like Givenchy, Dior, Celine, who else would they have? Loewe, uh, many other brands uh, do some great fragrances, so I'm always curious. So these are mostly blind buys. I did get to sample some really, really quickly because I got a big stash of uh, samples sent to me by Sal, uh, and so I went and had and uh, purchased these. Now the three new fragrances just launched, 2022, and they come in an eau de parfum intense concentration. They're priced at 100 ml for 315. The previous launch, um, there was 10 of them, uh, were launched in 2020 and those retail for 100 ml at 250 uh, and they're all EDP concentration but the new ones are uh, Eau de Parfum Intense as I said. And then the Accord Particulier, or Accord Particulier is a kind of like a layering tool. That's one of the reasons why I'm featuring it in this video as well, because I'd like to find out how it layers with some of these fragrances. So I'm gonna let you know what these fragrances are all about. What do they smell like? I'm gonna give you my uh, opinions on first smells here on camera. I haven't opened up the, the boxes yet, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so you're gonna find out about them with me on camera. There we go, that's three of them. And this is the fourth one here. This is Accord Particulier. Accord Particulier. Uh, before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Um, now that I have these fragrances, I'll probably end up doing another video of the entire collection as soon as I get them all prepped and stuff, but I have to put them somewhere back there. But most likely, I think I'm going to go somewhere right over here behind me because I do have a Giv Givenchy section there but now that these fragrances are here I'll have to kind of move things around and reorganize a bit. But let's go ahead and talk about the details a little bit before I get to the fragrances. As I said these are Givenchy's La Collection Particulière fragrances launched in 2020 and now we have the Hotel Particulière fragrances launched in 2022. There's three of them. Eau de Parfum Intense Concentration, 100 ml for 315 EDP Intense. There's a total of 13 fragrances in the collection. They're broken down into categories Oud, Floral Fresh, Woody, Floral, and Amber. There's no perfumers mentioned for the Hotel Particulière fragrances, the first three I'm going to talk to you about, but the Accord Particulière is created by Nathalie Lorson. So we'll see how that is. So let's go ahead and check these out. So I'm probably gonna butcher uh, these names. They're very, very French names for these fragrances and especially the first one. I think the next three will be fairly easy, but this first one is called Equivocu. Is that how you say it? I hope that's the way you say it. This is a woody, spicy oud fragrance, and it features notes of Guatemalan cardamom essence, Virginian and Atlas cedarwood, and Bangladesh Assam and Malaysian oud essences. Seems fairly simplistic, right? They are pricing these higher than the other fragrances, and they they say that these are eau de parfum intense, so why wouldn't they make Excre de Parfum concentration fragrances? Probably they wouldn't because brands rarely do these concentrations. So inside the box, 
really nice the De, De Givenchy it says on the front of this box it does say you know Equivocu De Givenchy so these are inspired I think by Hubert Givenchy's clothing he's a fashion designer obviously who's no longer with us and I think the the collection is definitely inspired by uh, the, the clothing at least that's what I read kind of sort of uh, playing off of uh, the YSL uh, Le Vestiaire collection I think here is Equivocu right here uh, beautiful bottle very classy this is the more Middle Eastern collection, the Hotel Particulier collection. Uh, I've got the G, the G uh, symbol, the logo right on the side there on both sides. Nothing on the back. That logo thingy is up on top here as well. And on the bottom, I've got some little information. So that's kind of fairly minimalistic looking bottles. Uh, so this particular fragrance, as I said, does feature the cardamom and it does have two kinds of cedar and then it also has two kinds of oud. So it should be like a spicy, woody oud fragrance experience. I do like cardamom and fragrances. Yeah, this is definitely oudy. I mean, initial blast, I got that cardamom. It's not a cardamom that I've smelled in other fragrances before, so that's kind of unique. Um, very, very woody. Definitely got the, the warmth, but I think for me, cardamom is always a very sp a fresh spice. It doesn't have a lot of warmth, so there's kind of like a pungent freshness about it that I quite like. Very, very oody and very, very woody. It's just kind of aromatic. There's some, some aromatics in there, so it is warming up a little bit. And I think that's the combination of the woods and the ooze. I think that's what's creating the warmth here. And I don't necessarily find woods to be very warm. I think in this case the oud is actually kind of creating it or generating a, a warmth in this particular fragrance but it's mostly a fresh and a kind of a cool experience but spicy, woody and oudy. I'm, I'm not impressed with it. Uh, I like what I'm smelling. I like that initial blast of the cardamom. Let me spray it on me. That bottle is pretty magnetic. I like that bottle. I, I, I like it so far. Is it worth three fifteen? What do you guys think? It smells better on me. I like it. The cardamom seems to be lingering on longer. Anyway, that one is Equivocu. I would call this a woody, spicy oud fragrance. So it's very, very woody with that spiciness from the uh, cardamom. Let's move on to Foudroyant. I think that's how you say that. Uh, Foudroyant, I like that little sticker up on top as well, if you can see that right there, the logo sticker. So Foudroyant, I guess what I should say about Equivocu, it means equivocal. And then finally Foudroyant, it means lightning. We'll see how lightning this is. To me, this particular fragrance seemed like it was going to be the better of the three with uh, um, Foudroyant. Yeah, definitely Foudroyant. I think it's an amber, which, you know, I love my ambers. I didn't show you this. It does have the logo uh, presentation up there as well. And then uh, you already saw what's inside the box. There is this little paper in there. And here is Foudroyant de Givenchy. I hope I'm saying that Foudroyant correctly. But this one, I would call this an aromatic amber woody oud fragrance. Features notes of Canada cedar leaf essence for top notes. Heart notes features amber balm, which is a combination of tolu balsam and labdanum. Finally, in the base notes, we've got Malaysian oud essence. So this is an oud collection, but as I said, it was called the Hotel Particulier collection from the G Givenchy La Collection Particulier. Particulier. Man, I'm having a mouthful of this. Uh, these names. So it's a sub-collection within the Givenchy La, per La Collection Particulier. So this fragrance is definitely very, very spicy. Um, very, very warm. It's an amber experience for sure. But it is an amber meshed with oud. Um, yeah. 
it's got it's just very very woody amber experience so in other words it's not like overly sweet overly syrupy it's sweet but the the woods kind of cut the sweetness down i like this one a lot i'm going to wear this one as well how many of you guys are excited about this collection four sprays for me um Ooh, it smells even better on me. Wow, that's really nice. Ooh, wow. This one does it for me. Foudroyant de Givenchy, definitely really, really sexy. It's kind of a uh, amber that's not overly sweet, but there's that sweetness there. There's the resinous touches, the balsamic touches, a little smokiness, woods and oud. This is really, really good. I much prefer this over Equivocu. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, yeah, this one, Food Royan, I really like. So finally, in the series of Hotel La, Co La Hotel Particuliere collection, it is Noctambule. I think that's how you say it. Is it, is it Noctambule? It means night walk. This is a floral woody oud fragrance, and of course, it's a collection of oud fragrances. They're going to have one the, with the rose oud combination, and this is exactly what that is. Uh, again, very similar design work. They've kind of gone all out with this collection, uh, whereas the previous collection from 2020, the first initial drop of these fragrances, the boxes were nice, but these no boxes seem a little nicer. So this is Noctambule. I, I would call this a floral woody oud fragrance, and it features notes of grass, rose centifolia, infusion and essence. Heart notes features papyrus accord. Base notes features Malaysian oud essence. So they're not listing a lot of notes, Ooh, this rose is reminding me of the rose and Dior fragrances and Louis Vuitton fragrances. Louis Vuitton, Dior, all under LVMH. Most likely they have the same resource. Uh, they should. Ooh, this is really good. Wow. Both of the, the last two fragrances are really, really great. This oud and rose combo delicious because the rose kind of reminds me of, like I said, the, the rose in something like, um, La Colle Noir from Dior, or Rose de Vence and Louis Vuitton. And then they've added that Papyrus Accord, and then the Oud uh, Essence, the Malaysian Oud Essence. This is really, really good. I, I'm gonna have to spray this one on too, but I think I'm gonna have to put it uh, up a little bit. Oh boy. On me, there's a little bit of a cumin burst as well, like a cracklingness of cumin. That's amazing. I love the way that smells. I mean, uh, Oud and Rose, you can't go wrong with it. It's been overdone. It is overdone. Like, if you already have one, you probably do not need to check Noctambul. Noctambul. But if you don't have one, I would say go and check this one out because it smells really, really great. Really, really great. It does remind me a little bit of Udispahan, but I do like this one a little more than Udispahan. Actually, not a little more, a lot more. I'm bored of Udispahan. This one does have a lot of cumin touch, though. Be, be warned. There's that kind of spiciness there. Yeah. Very sweaty smelling. Not very, but definitely very sweaty smelling. I like this one a lot. Noctambul and then of course Foudroyant are my two favorites from this collection. I could totally squit, skip Equivocu. I don't need that one at all in my collection. But it's, good. it's here for when clients come in and they want to preview the fragrances because they can't go anywhere else here in the city to preview these because they're not selling here in the city uh, as of now. And I don't know how, dis how much distributed these are because on the Givenchy website, these three fragrances, it says it's exclusive to them, but obviously I bought them from Saks with the gift card promotion. I'm getting a gift, I, I already, wait, did I get my gift card? He didn't send me my gift card. I got to check in with him. Um, yeah, but I got, I'm supposed to get a gift card for buying all, all these fragrances uh, for that uh, gift card promotion. But what are your thoughts on these fragrances? Let me know if these sound great to you. I'm excited for Foudroyant and uh, Noctambule. Uh, I would totally wear those. Equivocu, as I said, uh, kind of falls flat. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just kind of boring for me because it's all woods. And I, I always say that just woods by themselves 
in the addition of uh, oud there uh, is kind of boring to me. Let's move on to the Accord Particulier fragrance. Now this particular fragrance launched in 2020 with the initial 10. This is one of the 10 and then they launched the three that I just told uh, spoke to you about. These are uh, less expensive. They're 250 for 100 ml. The ones that I just spoke to you about are 315 for 100 ml and this is supposed to be a layering like a tool or wearing it on its own. So we'll see how it is. So obviously you can see that these have gold writing and they got that gold on the side. Obviously these are black. They don't have the that kind of like special gold, uh, more expensive detailing. So they are less expensive. I'm also glad these are not overly big presentation. They're kind of small. I don't want these big boxes anymore. Uh, and recently I purchased a bottle of Over the Musk from Mugler on their website. They have redone the, the presentation as well, which is nice. I don't need the big, 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 big presentations. So Accord Particulier, let's look in here. Oh, this one doesn't come with the sleeve, but I do like this all black bottle, but there is something plasticky thin here. So now we have a uh, recycled plastic it says right there. Uh, in the new box they're all these like thin uh, like paper. Anyway here is Accord Particulier all black bottle. This is the only all black bottle in the collection. It's because it's that kind of you know, musk or individual fragrance to kind of like layer with. I don't know if you guys like to do that kind of stuff, but I really was excited for this one. And then I noticed that it was Nathalie Lorsan. I do enjoy her fragrances. So let's see how this smells. This does feature notes of rose damascena, Haitian vetiver, patchouli essence, and ambrox. Ambrox and, or ambrox is what is typically used to do these layering kind of things with. So this is a bit subdued, which is what I was gonna uh, noticing is going to be. It's for folks that like that kind of subdued experience and so it's also subdued so that you can layer it with other things of course this has the rose the vetiver the patchouli and the ambrox so you can look at all the different fragrances I, I would actually layer this with the last fragrance I just spoke to you about Noctambule so I would add it to the fragrance which features rose and then the, the Noctambule features a, a papyrus and also oud. With this one, you've got the rose, so it amplifies the rose and then adds the vetiver and the patchouli and the ambroxan to create more of an, like a hefty, beefy kind of an experience, which I think would do. But I personally would layer this down first and then layer the uh, Noctambule over it. Uh, this would act as your um, primer so you let dry and then you spray the other on top so kind of give you a little bit of a fragrance cocktail so where am i going to spray this one let's see uh, this is subdued as i said it's just it's kind of meant to be worn by people that like a little smell and not projection after smelling all those other ones it seems a little subdued but i think on its own it might be a little louder because the other ones are a little stronger but I'm smelling some rose there for sure. Uh, and I like that ambrox and kind of touch. Yeah, I think this would be a great layering tool, definitely. Not only for fragrances from this house, I think you can use it for other fragrances. Like for example, I was talking about rose here. You can totally la layer this with like Oud Espahan or La, Co uh, La Colle Noir, Rose de Vence. I would move it over to the, the fragrances from Louis Vuitton, like um, Le Sable Roses, uh, Ombre Nomade. You can do many things with this uh, to not only extend the life, but also to create a unique fragrance. So I do like the idea of this. I also like it in this really nice uh, black bottle. And that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these fragrances, the La Collection Particuliere fragrances, and the three fragrances, the new ones are called Hotel Particuliere. Very tough to say. Uh, I'm going to do it right, try to do it right, but let me know if you're uh, uh, a curious about these fragrances and if you have already sampled them, what are your thoughts? Uh, are you excited about them or do you think they're overpriced? Let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. Either way guys, that's all I have for you uh, today. Um, like I said, just let me know uh, if you've sampled any of the other ones. I'm very, very curious about the other ones as well. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll do a whole collection video uh, in the near future. But if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.